everybody, I'm Stephanie Heyman back in studio today and we're getting ready for Christmas. I love handmade ornaments and this one is no exception. We're going to take some music sheets, some glitter and make a beautiful magnolia Christmas tree ornament. So grab your supplies and get ready to craft. So to start our magnolia ornament, what I'm going to do is basically fold my music paper in half. And I'm just going to cut out my main shape for the big leaves. And I try to stay where the, something stuck on my scissors. Okay, I'm gonna try to stay within where the music is. I don't really wanna get too much white. So I'm going to keep cutting here. And what I like to do for the base is keep it so that when I get done, I'm not gonna cut this all the way off. So that when I open it up, this is gonna help me build my base right there. So I'm gonna do two more of these, just like that. And what I might actually do is use that one even as my template. And this time I'll go on the side so I don't waste a whole sheet and I can get two more. So I'm going to take this and I'm just gonna cut a little piece out here. And I'm going to make a little oval circle kind of organic roundish shape. Doesn't have to be perfect at all. And I'm going to put it here for a second. I'm gonna grab my Mod Podge, get that open. And I'm gonna grab, pardon my reach, while I grab a foam brush. And I'm going to just put a little bit of Mod Podge right here in the center. And I'm gonna lay one of my sets of magnolia leaves across it, just like this. I'm gonna take and do that with the others as well. So I'm just gonna kinda keep layering this on and add another set, maybe right there. Add a little more Mod Podge and add another set of leaves. So this is kind of big right now, but we're gonna fold it up and it'll be a little bit smaller when we're all said and done, just because it'll have a little bit more depth and dimension, it'll kind of shrink in on itself. While that's drying, I'm going to make two sets of two to three. We'll see how it actually looks when it starts to come together. We're gonna kind of mess with it a little bit here. We're gonna fold it in half again, and we're just gonna make a much smaller set this time of little leaves. But we're gonna do the same exact thing where we leave this little bit here. Okay, so I'm gonna take this again, and it's almost dry, but not quite. So I'm going to put some more decoupage, some more Mod Podge on there, and kind of alternate these again. I'm gonna do two to start, and see how we do. So I'm gonna put two on to start, and I'm gonna let this sit and dry, and once it's dry, we will start on the next step. So I think I like having just the two in the middle, and this is basically pretty dry so we can start to manipulate our leaves. And what I'm gonna do is fold it down the center, and what that's gonna do is kinda lift it up a little bit and give you a little dimension in your petals. So we'll do that all the way around on these, and I usually start in the middle. And if you need to, you can always snip it back a little bit too because it gets kind of tight right in there. So if you're not happy with that, feel free to grab the scissors and snip it, but I'm gonna leave it just like it is. The next thing is to grab some Mod Podge and some glitter. And what we're going to do is, I'm gonna move this little glitter tray in here, is we're gonna take our foam brush and we're just going to start to paint on a little bit of Mod Podge around the edge of our leaves. And then we're going to put our glitter in the tray. I'm just gonna pour it straight into the tray. I find this works better than sprinkling it on. So I'm gonna just put it right in there. And then I'm gonna take that petal and I'm gonna dip those edges where I put the Mod Podge. And I'm going to add glitter to the edges. So now you're getting this really pretty music sheet going with your glittered edge, which I just think is so gorgeous once you get it on the tree. 
So we'll go around and do that to all the petals and then I'm going to sit it to the side and I'm going to let it dry. Alright, so now the petals are done. I'm going to take and just put a few dabs of Mod Podge here in the center. And what I'm going to do is just glitter the middle of this as well. And then once all of this glitter dries, I'm just going to put a little hook on the back. You could even just glue on a piece of ribbon if you wanted to. And you are all set to have a super cute, sparkly, and fun Magnolia holiday ornament. So our beautiful Magnolia is now done, dry, and ready to hang. Just add a piece of ribbon, a little hook, whatever you need to get it up on the tree. Thanks so much for stopping by today. If you had fun with this project, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment below, and just keep on coming back for more fun, crafty ideas.